Hello again, brethren. Get your authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures, and turn in your authorized version of the scriptures to 1 Kings, chapter 19. 1 Kings, chapter 19. This video is going to kind of play into the video that I have just done, but separating these because just because first kings chapter 19 verses 1 on to verse 18 now this is elijah after the lord did a mighty work through him at rebuking and putting to death the prophets of baal okay and elijah prayed and hence rain came. Okay? Mighty work that he did in the Lord. The Lord did through him. Right? First Kings chapter 19 verses 1 on to verse 18. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. Jezebel, a type of the Catholic Church, the modern feminazi, if you will. Okay? Come on, Harris. Excuse me. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> you watch. But Jezebel was actually, you know, wore the pants in that family. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. And withal, how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods, little g, do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. How the Roman Catholic Church will threaten those of us, hi, who speak against her. And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life, and came to Beersheba, which belongeth to Judah, and left his servant there. Elijah ran. After he had done this mighty thing in the Lord, he ran at the rebuke and threats of a woman. In type for us today, when the Roman Catholic Church sends you threatening emails, and even, hello, literally, anathema. Let him be anathema. <laughs> I just, not like that's never happened to me before. <laughs> but he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die. And said, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. Elijah had done a mighty work in the Lord. And the harlot, Jezebel, Roman Catholicism, will attack you mightily for speaking the truth of God's word. And it gets on you sometimes, doesn't it? And you want to retreat. You make a stand for the scriptures. And you want more than anything. To line your life up with the scriptures. And what happens to you? Hmm? Well, we're going to get a little bit more deeper into that. Don't you worry. Okay? Let's continue. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, the angel touched him, then an angel, excuse me, touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. I have esteemed thy word more than my necessary food. Hello? And when you, the church of the living God, Read the scriptures. 
the author of the scriptures is always present. Do you feel me? Hmm? Brother, do you feel me? Okay. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake bacon on the coals, and a cruse of water at his head. And he did eat and drink, and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time, and touched him, and said, Arise and eat, because the, too, because the journey is too great for thee. You ever been there? The journey is too great for us. Lord, who goeth before us. <clears throat> and he arose and did eat and drink, and went in the strength of that meat forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the mount of God. And he came hither unto a cave, and lodged there. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, and he said unto him, What doest thou here, Elijah? What doest thou here, Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. For the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. Oh, you tell me, brother, have you ever been there? Why am, why am I the only one standing up for any of this? Why am I the only one seeing any of this? Why am I? Why me? Me? Again, playing, uh, going off of the previous video. You will feel as though the weight of the world is on your shoulders. But I'm going to submit unto you that you are not seeing the forest for the trees. Hast thou forgotten whom thou dost serve? I know you haven't. I know you have not. I know you have. We are to fight for the truth of God's word. Absolutely. But you think you're in this by yourself? Let's continue. And he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains, and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still, small voice. And it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face... in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him and said,
What doest thou here, Elijah? And look what he says again. And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. As if our Lord needed to be reminded of what he had said earlier, right? But we have to understand the stress, you could say, that Elijah was under. That is to be taken into consideration. But what said the scriptures? And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts. Because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword, and I, even I only, am left, and they seek my life to take it away. Do you feel like an island, dear brother? Church of the living God. And the Lord said unto him, Go, return on thy way to the wilderness of Damascus. And when thou comest, anoint Hazel to be king over Syria. And Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shalt thou anoint to be king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Abel Mahola, shalt thou anoint to be prophet in thy room those that come after him. And it shall come to pass that him that escapeth the sword of Hazel, Hazel shall Jehu slay. And him that escapeth from the sword of Jehu shall Elisha slay. Oh, you're looking at that, ain't you? Yet I have left me 7,000 in Israel all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which hath not kissed him. Our brothers and sisters are out there, scattered, yes. But there is a very small remnant. Very few of us are going to be called up. Very few. I like to do the scale thing, you know, a scale from 8 or from 10 to 1 or whatnot. On a scale from 10 to 1, probably about 2 out of 10 are going up. Some would argue probably 1 out of 10, right? But So Elijah departed thence and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him. And he with the twelfth, and Elijah passed by him, and cast his mantle upon him. <clears throat> I know I said to 18, but let's continue. And he left the oxen, and ran after Elijah, and said, Let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and mother, and then I will follow thee. First let me take care of the things of the world. And he said unto him, Go back again, for what have I done unto thee? And he returned back from him and took a yoke of oxen and slew them and boiled their flesh with the instruments of the oxen and gave unto the people and they did eat. Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered unto him. Go to Psalm 69. Psalm. 69. <clears throat> Psalm 69. Save me, O God, for the waters are come in unto my soul. Remember the whore, Mystery of Babylon the Great, Roman Catholicism? sits on a throne, and under her are a lot of are many waters, and those waters are peoples and nations. Save me, O God, for the waters are coming to my soul. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I am come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. 
I am weary of my crying. My throat is dried. Mine eyes fail while I wait for my God. Oh, even so, come Lord Jesus. Amen. Brother. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. Making peace, trying to make peace, right? Yeah. Because you stand up for the truth of the scriptures. You make a stand for the Lord Jesus Christ, according to the scriptures. It's like point out sin as sin. Hey, it's a sin to take a vaccine. Hey, it's a sin to jump over scriptural repentance. It is a sin to call prayer work. It is a sin to deter people from humbling themselves by calling upon the name of the Lord. It is a sin. And because you stand up for the truth, they hate you wrongfully. Because all you are doing is what the Lord will have you to do, standing for the scriptures. Right? Let's continue. Oh God. Oh God. Thou knowest my foolishness, and my sins are not hid from thee. Look right here of how David is putting forth his supplications unto the Lord. Praying unto the Lord. And you also got to remember, when this was written, the Psalms was within the dispensation of the law, where eternal security was not there. Okay? And of course, these easy believism her uh, heretics say that uh, eternal security was from Genesis on to Revelation. Using the proper dictatorial definition of the word, for those of you who believe that, using the proper context of this word, you're an idiot. If you believe that, you're an idiot. If you are a babe, grace will be shown, of course. But if you have been claiming to be a Christian for a long time, uh, uh, you know, eternal security, <laughs> faith alone from every dispensation, you believe that? calling yourself a Christian for years and years and years and years and years. You're an idiot. You're not saved. Verse 6. Let not them that wait on thee, O Lord God of hosts, be ashamed for my sake. Let not those that seek thee be confounded for my sake, O God of Israel. Hold your place here. First Peter chapter 5. One verse. First Peter chapter 5. One verse. Just one verse. Verse 9. Uh, let's, uh, let's read verses 8 and 9. Excuse me. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil... As a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Church of the Living God, brothers, sisters, It's the Lord and you and me. Jesus Christ, God our Father, 
the same yesterday, today, forever. Number one, first, one God, spirit, soul, and body. Okay? You and me, we're in this. Okay? You are not hardly the only one. Church of living God. Oh, it may seem like it. <laughs> they shall fear thee. Oh, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Wrong, wrong, uh, wrong one. Okay. Because for thy sake I have borne reproach, shame hath covered my face. I have become a stranger unto my brethren and an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproaches of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. When I wept and chastened my soul with fasting, that was to my reproach. I made sackcloth also of my garment and became a proverb to them. They that sit in the gate speak against me. I was the song of drunkards. First Peter chapter 4. First Peter chapter 4. Verses 7 on to verse 14. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth. You feel me? You feel me, brother? that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Beloved. Hi. Hi. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. Hi. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. What kind of God makes you weep over those who did you evil? What kind of God wants you to fast for those who are lost? Is that what your God wants you to do? When you've wept for a brother? Fasted for a brother? Hmm. Oh, I've never fasted. I, I've never been called to fasting. I've never been called to weeping. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you haven't. Now, go to Job chapter 30. Job chapter 30. <laughs> 
Job chapter 30. Let's really, let's really get into this part of it. Job chapter 30. Come on, fingers work with me. Job chapter 30. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision. <laughs> There's a generation that is pure in their own sight. Whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Yea, whereto might the strength of their hands profit me, in whom old age was perished? I, we, we got it. We got it. We got it. Proverbs chapter 30. Proverbs chapter 30. I'm going to cover this in another video later on. But, um, <clears throat> all right. Proverbs chapter 30. Verses 11. On to verse 15. There is a generation that curseth their father and doth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes, and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. Foolish little boy. The horse leech hath two daughters crying, Give, give! There are three things that are never satisfied, yea, four things say not, it is enough. The grave and the barren womb the earth that is not filled with water, and the fire that saith not, it is enough. The eye that mocketh at his father, and despiseth to obey his mother. The ravens of the valley shall pick it out, and the young eagles shall eat it. <clears throat> Back to Job chapter 30. For want and famine, they, are, they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former time, desolate and waste, who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks, among the bushes they brayed, under the nettles they were gathered together. They were children of fools, yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. And now, I am their song, yea, I am their byword. Do they not, do not these heretics sing songs of us as to cast filth upon us. I am their byword, Demonorite. <laughs> uh, they abhor me. They flee far from me, and spare not to spit in my face, because he hath loosed my cord and afflicted me. They have also let loose the bridle before me. Upon my right hand rise, up, rise the youth. <laughs> they push away my feet, and they raise up against me the ways of their destruction. They glory in their shame. They glory in their sin. They mar my path. They set forward my calamity. They have no helper. Yeah. They came upon me as a wide breaking in of waters, you know, like a tsunami. <laughs> in the desolation, they rolled themselves upon me. When you're at your weakest, that's when they're, you're going to get attacked the most. Terrors are turned upon me. They pursue my soul as the wind. 
and my welfare passeth away as a cloud. And now my soul is poured out upon me. And now my soul is poured out upon me. The days of affliction have taken hold upon me. My bones are pierced in me in the night season. And my sinews take no rest. By the great force of my disease is my garment changed. It bindeth me about as the collar of my coat. He hath cast me into the mire, and I am become like dust and ashes. I cry unto thee, and thou dost not hear me. I stand up, and thou regardest me not. Thou art become cruel to me. With thy strong hand thou opposest thyself against me. Thou liftest me up to the wind. Thou causest me to ride upon it, and dissolvest my substance. For I know that thou wilt bring me to death, and to the house appointed for all living. Howbeit he will not stretch out his hand to the grave, though they cry in his destruction. Did I not weep for him that was in trouble? Was not my soul grieved for the poor? When I looked for good, then evil came unto me. And when I waited for light, there came darkness. My bowels boiled and rested not. The days of affliction prevented me. I went mourning without the sun, S-U-N. Okay? I stood up and I cried in the congregation. I am a brother to dragons and a companion to owls. Sure does feel like it sometimes, doesn't it, brother? My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. My harp also is turned to mourning, and my organ to the voice of them that weep. Back to Psalm 69, continuing on from verse 13. But as for me... My prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time. Let's read that again. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time. Now is the time of salvation. <laughs> Only a devil is going to tell you that prayer is a work. And then use the argument, well, for example, uh, repentance is not mentioned in the book of John. So therefore, it's unimportant. <laughs> oh, you table of filth. You, 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 you're something else. You're something else. Um, you, you really are. You really are. You're, you're something else. You're not going to repent and get saved. You are of the devil. And um, for that, I just hope uh, our Lord turns up the furnace on you just a little hotter. The Lord rebuke you. Table of filth. Oh. Let's read that again. But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy hear me. In, thy tru in the truth of thy salvation... I said earlier in a previous video, people are ignorant of God's word, not knowing better. A famine is in the land of hearing the word of God because of all the translations out there and just believe and all this stupidity. Yeah. 
the strong point. Ah. Deliver me out of the mire and let me not sink. Let me be delivered from them that hate me and out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Remember in the book of Revelation how the dragon cast waters out of his mouth? And again, the waters that the horror sitteth on are peoples, nations, tongues, languages, that kind of stuff are people. <clears throat> I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Let not the water flood overflow me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is good. Turn unto me according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. And hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. Hear me speedily. Draw nigh unto my soul, and redeem it. Deliver me because of mine enemies. <laughs> this is Old Testament too, by the way. <laughs> <It's> stupid. <laughs> uh, thou hast known my reproach and my haste. That what? Thou hast known my reproach and my shame and my dishonor. Mine adversaries are all before thee. Remember, brethren, the Lord knows. Don't forget that. The Lord knows. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. And I, and I looked for some to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, but I found none. They gave me also gall for my meat, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Reference unto our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross, okay? Right there, verse 21, okay? Referencing our Lord Jesus Christ. Let their... <clears throat> Hi. Let their table become a snare before them. <laughs> And that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thine indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Oh. All you easy believers and heretics, the anger of our Lord is going to come upon you. What you going to do then, hot shot? Hmm? What you going to do? You believe, just like the devils also believe in tremble, right? What are you going to do? Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in, dwell in their tents. Reference unto Judas Iscariot. For they persecute him whom thou hast smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom thou hast wounded. And these easy believism heretics do. They, what do they do? They persecute him whom thou hast smitten. They persecute the Lord Jesus Christ while calling themselves Christians. Add iniquity unto their iniquity, and let them not come into thy righteousness. And look at what has happened recently. Actually using a curse word. You'll be made manifest. You, you are made manifest. But there again, those who want nothing to do with truth, they flock together to you. To all of you. Not just you. Let 
Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. Because, you see, brethren, these are enemies of our Lord. They have made their choice. They are working for Satan. They know what they are doing. They want to bring as many people as they can down to hell with them. They are our Lord's enemies. Okay? Now, from there, go to Proverbs chapter 13. Proverbs chapter 13. Proverbs chapter 13. Proverbs chapter 13, verses 1 and verse 6. Today is the 13th, by the way. A wise son heareth his father's instruction, but a scorner heareth not rebuke. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, <laughs> but the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth keepeth his life, but he that openeth wide his lips shall have destruction. I think, and I'm addressing a certain individual, I think of all those cancerous emails that I still have saved. Um, just put away somewhere. All those vile, profane emails. Still got them. <clears throat> the soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man, note the contrast, a righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. A wicked man lies. Righteousness keepeth him that is upright in the way, but wickedness overthroweth the sinner. There is that maketh himself rich, yet hath nothing. There is that maketh himself poor, yet hath great riches. And skipping ahead, skipping ahead uh, to verses 13 on to verse 21. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. The enemies of our Lord fear not our Lord God, our Father Jesus Christ. They have no fear of God. And they have no fear of uh, perverting the doctrines uh, that are found within the scripture, especially the doctrine of salvation. The law of the wise is fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Good understanding giveth favor, but the way of transgressors is hard. <laughs> yeah. Every prudent man dealeth with knowledge, but a fool layeth open his folly. There again, brethren, a fool layeth open his folly. Makes it plain as day to those who have eyes to see, ears to hear, and understanding hearts. Hey, that guy is not of us. That guy's a devil. <laughs> A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is health. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction, being handed over to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. For those of you of the church of the living God who are messing around, Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuseth instruction, but he that regardeth for proof shall be honored. Regardeth for proof. When a brother comes to you, brother, let me talk to you. Just you and me. Let's get the scriptures. I want to talk to you about a few things, okay? I want to give you some reproof. You know, the Lord for me, you know. It's a beautiful thing. 
the greatest shoe of love that you can give unto a brother or sister is if not, you know, not according to what you think, but according to what the scriptures say. Okay. The most beautiful, most loving thing you can do is to admonish and to reprove a brother or a sister when the Lord will have you to and as the Lord will have you to. Therefore, love one another. How do you love them? By truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. <clears throat> and because of that, but he that regardeth for proof shall be honored. Verse 19, the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul. He that regardeth for proof, the desire accomplished is sweet to the soul, adlining to the scriptures, but it is abominations, it but it is an abomination to fools to depart from evil. Just like every single one of you, easy believism heretics. It is an abomination for you to, to, to depart from your evil. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. And evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous good shall be repaid. There are some of you that I have defended. And you're yoking yourself up with those that have been exposed as fake. What's wrong with you? Have you not eyes to see and ears to hear? Have you not an understanding heart? Or are or, or are all of you flocking together as the scales of his pride? Remember, brethren, of the church of the living God, you ain't alone. Got that? Evil pursueth sinners. But to the righteous good shall be repaid. Go back now to Psalm 69. Continuing now from verse 29. But I am poor and sorrowful. Let thy salvation, O God, set me up on high. The turning point right here, verse 29, by the way. I will praise the name of God with a song. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock that hath horns and hoofs. Referencing about the works of the law. <laughs> Piece of work. Piece of work. Okay. The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek God. For the Lord heareth the poor and despiseth not his prisoners. Let the heaven and earth praise him, the seas and everything that moveth therein. For God will save Zion and will build the cities of Judah, that they may dwell there and have it in possession. The seed also of his servant shall inherit it. And they that love his name shall dwell therein. Referencing, of course, unto the millennial kingdom. 2 Timothy chapter 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4. Verses 10 on to verse 18. 
For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica. Cretans to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable to me for the ministry. The same Mark that departed from them in the book of Acts, because the going got rough. And Tychicus have I sent to Ephesus. The cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus, when thou comest, bring with thee, and the books, but especially the parchments. Naming names. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. The Lord reward him according to his works. The Lord reward him according to his works. The Lord reward him according to his works. Are you looking at me? The Lord reward him according to his works. Of whom be thou where also? For he hath greatly withstood our words. At my first answer no man stood with me. But all men forsook me. I pray God that it may not be laid to their charge. Notwithstanding the who stood with me, the Lord. Notwithstanding the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear. And I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Do you, you remember what we looked at in First Peter already, right? And the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Matthew. Matthew. Chapter 28. Ah, uh, verses 19 on to verse 20. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of singular, one God, one name, one God. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. What is his name? Our Lord God, our Father. Jesus Christ, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And brother, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. This is the sign of the times, brethren. And they're going to do what they're going to do. And it's very easy for us to think that we're alone, but we have each other. Moreover, we have our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, which they do not. They're going to get their little victories. But the battle is of the Lord. Right? 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 Uh, very quickly, Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. 
Ephesians 6.12. If you cannot, if you don't have it memorized, at least memorize where you can find it. Ephesians 6.12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Verses 3 and 4. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Okay? Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And don't be led away by answering their railings. Because that's all you got, you heretics. So, that's going to be it for this video. Two. Already this morning, now it's almost it's five to eight. Here my time. I'm gonna upload the other one, which I did, uh, started at six in the morning. So. Lord willing, there will uh, there are going to be more videos coming. Like I said, I have uh, quite a few things on on docket, but um, this was just something that the Lord put upon me this morning to share with you. I love you, and we will see you in the next video.